Hi guys, I'm Lisi Lane MUA. Um, I am so excited to like finally start doing things back on YouTube and it's so crazy because today's topic, I'm just going to jump right into it. This morning I got a, a text message from one of my friends and she basically was telling me that she saw me on YouTube and I was like, I haven't posted a video in a while. Like what, when did she see me on, on YouTube? But she, she sent me the link of the YouTube channel of the girl. Her name is um, Lovely T 2002 So I was looking at her channel and she has like 300,000 views um, on this Alicia Keys hashtag no makeup movement. Um, and she said apparently it doesn't apply to everybody. So as I was watching it, she said that she called it BS only because... Um, she felt like just because Alicia Keys was doing it, um, that that's why people are looking at it now. I did not watch her entire video, and um, I watched certain parts that kind of, it upset me a little bit, and I'll tell you the reasons why. Um, that's one reason why I have no makeup on. I actually posted a picture on Twitter um, supporting Alicia Keys' no makeup movement, and I'll tell you why. It is very hard today for women to embrace what they naturally look like because we're constantly being compared to what we see in the media. I feel that if a person wake up, wakes up one morning and decide that they love the skin that they're in, who am I to say that just because it's Alicia Keys it's wrong? Um, yes, I understand there are women that wake up every day and they don't like what they see due to maybe they have skin scars or acne or, you know, whatever the case may be. They don't like what they see. As I recall, Alicia Keys also had acne as well. And she was actually on the campaign with Proactive to try to get that together. She didn't come out back at that point that she wanted to start a no makeup movement because she basically was in a campaign for Proactive to get her skin better. And of course, I don't want, when I have a breakup, I don't, I don't necessarily like it. I'm not gonna embrace it. So why would she embrace it? But once you get into a routine of taking care of your skin and you you know you're drinking enough water and you're doing your daily you know skin cleansing skin cleansing regimen, and you decide you wake up one morning, I love what I look like. I don't want to wear any makeup. Who am I to say that you're wrong for that? And to me, Alicia Keys wasn't saying I'm just gonna post a no makeup selfie. For now, she's basically saying, I'm not doing anything that involves the media with a face full of makeup. And that's the first artist to ever do that. So even if people was doing no makeup movements in 2010, you know, she's the first artist. You have to compare this to artists. She's an artist. She's the first artist to say, I'm not doing any makeup. I'm going on Ellen, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. If I do a video, if I go on a Grammys, blah, 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 it's no makeup. And I think that that's a beautiful thing to say that I am okay with what I look like and I'm not going to be, be compared to what your idea of beauty is. Another reason why I was upset with that video, video is because I say this all the time and I'll say it again. Women are the most oppressed people on the planet. Not only are we oppressed by men, we are oppressed by each other. And it's sad to see a woman attack her own gender for what she's trying to stand for. So... I say all that to say I'm a feminist and I don't have any problem saying that and the reason why I'm a feminist because I believe that women don't get enough credit I believe that there are some honorable women out there and I also believe that there's some women out there who make us look bad okay I am very passionate about what I stand for as a woman I always like to conduct myself as a lady and I stand for women who stand for me too and I wish that a lot of women did that instead of you know, crucifying another person because they decide not to do something. They would stand united with them because after all, don't we all have insecurities? Don't we all have things about ourselves that we wish were different? I wish I had longer legs and bigger breasts. I also wish I had longer hair that I didn't have to put an installation in, you know, just to look and feel beautiful every day. And that's something that I have to work on with embracing my natural beauty and what I want to look at when I wake up in the morning. So I'm not going to knock Alicia Keys because she decided, oh, I want to go on um, and start a campaign, a no makeup movement. I, I don't think it's anything wrong with that. And I think as women... We should stand in support of her and even embrace our own natural beauty. So hence the reason why I have no makeup on. 
I am a makeup artist and I wear makeup because it's my job. But on a day to day basis, if I'm not at the salon, I don't have makeup on my face. I do my skincare regimen and that's it. Like I said, I had no ill will towards Lovely T 2002. I just feel like um, for those reasons that she specified with Alicia Keys, I just don't agree with them. And I wanted to put it out there because my face was on her page. She doesn't know me. I don't know her. Um, and I thank you for, you know, I know it wasn't you, but the news actually had my face on their page. Uh, however, I really do believe that as, as women, we need to stand united with each other now instead of always dividing each other. Um, that's not how we're going to win this battle. That's not how we're going to win the war if we're constantly attacking each other. So I support Alicia Keys with her no makeup movement. And yes, you will see pictures of me with makeup on and you will see pictures with me of me without makeup on and I'm totally okay with that. But uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I try to keep this video short for you guys. Peace and love. I will be recording more videos uh, coming soon um, so that people can know what's going on with me. I also have a movement going on myself. It's called Dear Single Female. If you are following me on Facebook, um, I'm under Lisa Elaine. And if you're following me on Instagram, I'm Lisa Elaine MUA. Uh, if you're following me on Twitter, I'm Lisa Elaine. <laughs> So uh, you'll get all the updates there. And every day I'm always posting a Dear Single Female. So feel free to join. Oh, I also have a blog. It's Dear Single Female at WordPress.com. So definitely go and check it out. Um, I posted something today about love is patient. And I hope you guys like it. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Peace and love. Good night.